Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. This, if you're not already familiar, is, a, I guess, a live capture of my YouTube profile page. And I've recently been elevated to a brand, so I, I guess I am a brand. And with YouTube, that allows me to have a small banner across my channel page. It allows me to put live hyperlinks on my profile page directly to my blog and the live service and everything. And then on each individual video page, I also get um, you know different links and different banners, which you've probably seen on other profile pages. So when I was creating this uh, banner, if you will, I, I did a 2D text and I put a little perspective on it, kind of making it jump out. And then someone in the chat room said, yeah, that's kind of cool. But it'd be more interesting if the text was 3D. So then I remembered I had this program called Zara 3D that I've been using for years. And in Zara, you could you can essentially create a 3D text and based off the fonts that you have in your computer and easily edit it. So if the chat room says to type something like uh, chat room, I can create that bit of text, grab it. I can make it thinner or thicker. I can move the shadow around. I can actually grab onto it and tilt its rotation. Uh, I can apply different lighting effects on the actual um, on the actual image itself. Uh, there are all sorts of things that I can do in, inside of this program, again, known as Zara 3D. That's X, here I can spell it out for you. Um, X-A-R-A 3D. And they've got, it comes with a handful of predefined templates. Really cool templates, actually. Um, here's one. Save changes. No. Okay. X3D. I don't know if this is going to translate well, but if I did, uh, let's see here. Lynn is a member of our chat room, and I can actually, if there's a, a an animation defined for it, I can actually press the space bar in conjunction with control, and I can actually export this out. Actually, I keep saying that word. I can export this image out as a an animation, like a Swift animation or an animated GIF. Um, I can change the different textures around it. Uh, I can flip it around, float it around, export the graphic, and it's just so fast and so easy to use. It is the most amazing graphics editor as far as 3D graphics and text are concerned that I have ever had the pleasure of using, and believe me, it is an absolute pleasure to use this. It's impossible to sell this um, this software without really explaining the power of, of what it can do. Uh, here's something that I made earlier for my Gnomedex uh, conference, uh, and I can show you how to do it here. And I've got a nice little tight glow around it. It's difficult to see because, again, I'm filming it directly onto my screen. But I can export that image with relative ease. Actually, let me change the background color. Let's go to a white background color. That might help bump up the contrast a bit more. Uh, put a little border around it, slight glow to it. I'm going to export that image. I can export the animation, design, blah, blah, blah. I can actually save it as a... Oh, okay, I've got to stop saying the word actually. I can s export it as a graphic. Save it here. Uh, we'll save it. Name it at actually. <laughs> and we'll save it as a ping. So it'll be transparent. And then from here, I can set it to the current window size. Crop it so it's there's no XX, excess space around it. XX. That's you know a completely different video. Um, transparent, interlaced, high color or true color. The width is defined there. I can actually, I said actually. Well, that's the name of the graphic. So I'm going to, I can set it as user defined. Now, YouTube only lets me for this top banner set a, a height of 50 pixels. So that means that I've got to define the height as 50. And it looks like it clips uh, both sides of the edge. So let me shrink the width just a bit more. More? Apparently, a bit more to 50. Okay, I guess I've got to go down a little further. There we go. So 220 by 50. And now I've saved that image. It exported it directly to the desktop. So I've got this little icon here. And there, there's the image that I just exported. Really, it's really, really simple to do. Uh, I, I've, Zara 3D is so much fun, you'll never stop making three-dimensional graphics with it. So in, in, this, in this instance, I've saved this graphic. I can open up my image editor, uh, place it inside of the, I, the, I guess it was the, the graphic that I was editing for the banner, uh, and then save it out. But Zara 3D is the name of the, the software, and I mentioned it the other day, and now I'm, I'm actually going, oh, I said actually again actually <laughs> going through and explaining and showing it. So 
there you go one of my favorite pieces of software ever